Okay, welcome to a new episode. We had 408 people that replied and commented on our last episode. Everybody wants an archer cap. Uh, thanks for entering. Uh, we're just going to quickly scroll through all of our comments here, and the boys are going to pick somebody else out. Okay, you ready? Okay, I'm scrolling. All right, pick somebody. Who we got? Uh, R, our letter R. Uh, no, D, D, D. D? Okay, D. D is Dreama40. Hi, I'm Jeff from Murgon, Queensland, a small country town about two and a half hours northeast of Brisbane. That's cool, he's an Aussie. New to your channel, thought I'd say hello. Okay, Jeff, you won an archer cap. Thanks for watching, thanks for commenting. Enjoy the new episode. Okay, it's pretty cool. So my friend Luke and his wife Kiku are coming to visit us for a week. Uh, they live in Melbourne, so it's our first guest in two years. But the cool thing is their kids, uh, they've been watching our show with their kids and they've, they've actually never told them that they know us. And so they're coming boys right now. They're gonna come up the dock and their dad has told them that the boat they're gonna spend the week on is on the very end of the dock. And that's where we are. Yeah. Also, we'll, we'll see them freak out. It's gonna be fun. There they are. Hey guys, what's going on? Wow. Hello. Welcome to your boat for the week. Wow. What's going on, guys? How you doing? <laughs> that hair, buddy. That hair <laughs> is just unbelievable. <laughs> Hold on, let me come down. Oh man. Boys, say hi. What's up, buddy? What's going on, man? Come on, yeah. Look at that hair. Look at that hair. What's up? Hey, I'm Seth. What's your name? Alfred. Alfred, nice to meet you. I'm Seth. What's your name? Axel. Axel, we've met before. Good to see you. My name's Pearson. I'm seven years old. I'm seven. Cool. That's awesome. Hey there. Hello. What's going on? And this is Good to, Good to see you. Good to see you. Proper home. Yeah. yeah. I reckon, huh? Hey? What do you think, cowboy? You guys want to come on our boat for a week? Yeah. You want to go on the boat? You want to yes. go on Archer for a week? Yeah. What do you think, right. Maggie? Let's do it. <laughs> So I cut the top bit off, and then he's like, oh, can I have it Oh, so you were trying to grow, grow it oh, all. Oh, it was all along. It was oh. all along. And then, so the mullet was by happenstance. That, Correct. Yeah. Here. What, does your, what does your employer he, think? He working from home. I know. No, so what I do is I do is I is I put it like your... like this, and I and I. It was so good to catch up with these guys, and so great to have guests. Because of COVID, we have not seen a family member or a single friend since the beginning, not one. But now that we're in Oz, our Australian friends can fly in, well, between lockdowns. Luke and I have been friends for nearly 20 years. We met as single lads in England, and through a core group of friends, we've always kept in touch. It's amazing to see his boys playing with mine, and so good for Pierce to have a buddy his same age. It's going to be a great week exploring Morton Bay. Oh, if I don't paralyze myself first. All right, Luke, what's going on here? <laughs> uh, I started with a little um, uh, body surfing competition. It was a competition, wasn't it? That <laughs> it was, was the a problem. Yeah, I think I won. Yeah, it was. It was a. It was a short competition because this actually was the first race, wasn't it? That's true. It was it was the first or the second? I think it was the first race. I think it was the first one. So, uh, yeah, it didn't go so well for me. We're about to check out um, Queensland University South Public Hospital, about 18 kilometers outside of We reckon, we reckon this is just road rash, but this one here actually is, when you pull it open, it's pretty deep. Main blood is coming from the nose, yeah. uh, but we're not concerned about the blood, we're concerned about the cut. And we're concerned about I think the, I look better. I think, do I look better? You look, uh, that, you've got that sort of rugged, <laughs> handsome look, you know. <laughs> All right, I'm looking good now. Just went to the doctor. This is what I look like. I got lucky. I could have been paralyzed, basically. Everyone's wor more worried about the neck than they are about my nose and my forehead. And they're just cuts and they'll heal. So I gotta stay out of the water for a week and keep it clean and dry. But I am so lucky. So, so lucky. So 
I was just body surfing with the boys and a wave pushed me down and my face hit the sand and it just rolled my legs back over me and my face, I couldn't get my head down. So my neck bent all the way back, more than back, more than it should. And I felt it at the time, it was just cracking and crunching. And I came up and I was super dizzy and disoriented and uh, bleeding profusely out of my nose and my face. <laughs> it must have been a sight. But um, Elizabeth helped me and here's a pharmacy. Elizabeth helped me and uh, get to the shore and get safe and blood was pouring out of my nose, but I didn't, my neck was okay. Just, I don't know. I don't know what the, I don't know what the learning is. Body surfing is more dangerous than kiting and surfing and all sorts of stuff that I do, I guess. No more body surfing. I gotta get my antibiotics. We're actually leaving the marina, which is very exciting. Sunny day, leaving the marina. What could be better than this? Actually, a little wind in our favor. Oh, you like this? Some breaking waves actually right outside the bar. We're gonna be good. We're gonna hang a quick left. Looks like we gotta time it too. Right now it looks fine, but then there was that one little wave. Bye, Josh. Bye, guys. There's another break. Yeah, breaking right in the middle of the pass to go in. It's crazy. We're good though, we're out, we're good. I feel so weird monologuing with this on my nose. <laughs> Should I do the monologue? Yeah, tell us about Josh and his family. What so, there? very cool. We met the fun, a really fun family. I almost said funnest. The funnest family. <laughs> we met a really fun family um, that are Australian and they're traveling around with their son. Um, her name's Elizabeth, she goes by Beth, and John and their son Josh. And they, um, they've been watching the Archer videos because they're thinking about doing this with Josh, their child. And we literally we were, coming, and we were coming in the bar with the red boat and they saw us. So they, um, they freaked out and they were excited to meet us. And so they met us and we've been hanging out a week. Yeah, it's been really cool play and meeting them and hanging out with them for sure. Yeah, yeah so we hope to see them again. and um, Hopefully out of the water. Yeah, or, or they'll be out here. Yeah, and hopefully I don't have this on my nose. What, thing? what do you mean by along Malulaba, we're headed down to Morton Island, just east of Brisbane. Hi. Just hanging out. Yeah. The coastline of Australia. Pretty nice day. Alright, we made it. We're at Bulwer Island, Bulwer Anchorage, just off Morton Island. It's just kind of middle of nowhere type stuff. Looks good. Axel, you go get in the middle here. And now everyone pause. Now everyone dance. Lost, oh, right? yeah. <laughs>
spot. Uh, spot. Turn this way into the center hole. There we go. So if I wear a hat and sunglasses, you can almost not even see my bandages anymore. But they're still there. We're having a good day. What a beautiful, sunny Australian day. Look at this water. The water's clear and blue. We're doing a little sandboarding. Having a good time. How was your sandboarding? You you went for it, buddy. You were booking. Were you having fun? Yeah. You almost hit the water. I know. That was crazy. You look you look a little hot. You're standing on this. This is the kids dancing. <laughs> Look at these Aussies. Can I call you an Aussie, Kiku, or are you still finished? Always a true fin. I like it. This is pretty cool. Totally. Hold, hold, hold the line. Hold. They're coming at us. Attack! Hold, hold the line. The line. This is insane, isn't it? Look at that. The whole ground is moving. That is absolutely incredible. All right, we had a south wind, so we're in Korangal. Look how chilly we look. We look really cold. <laughs> we are cold. Uh, and we're going over these little this super shallow sandbar, eight feet right now. We saw 4.8 feet coming in. It's super high tide at the moment, we think. And we're just trying to head out. Just, just gonna follow water. our track out here, and it's getting shallower. And hopefully we'll be okay. Six, three. Our draft is three feet. But it's falling. It falls fine. My favorite line. My favorite line is "Slow is pro. Never go faster than you want to hit something." This is the tough part. You uh, you don't want to be filming when it's sketchy, but it's so tempting. <laughs> I like the way that looks. And then we'll go that way. I don't like that bit. No, I, I agree. I agree with you. I don't think the kids are getting along. Five six, five five. This is the this is where I like a shallow though. Five five. Okay. Five four. Five three. Five two. Eight four. Eight six. We're good now. We'll turn we'll turn in this channel. You like this, huh? So close. The shallowest I've ever gone. Yeah. Four point eight. <laughs> yesterday <laughs> we've also dropped our dagger board there just enough to be deeper than the propeller uh, and we do that just because we'd rather know having the dagger board touch the sand at a slow speed than the propeller touch the sand so we just drop it a little bit even though we're, we're super shallow we drop it just to the, that depth and I measured that when we were on the hard so I know exactly the, the right depth but we're good now 11 feet the channels right there I think we're good Lucas, what is an interview? What are you doing now? I'm coiling the furl or unfurling the coil. Un you're taking the twist out of which line? What's the line called? The lanyard, aka the green line. The green line is the what? It begins with an H. Lanyard. Halyard. Halyard. Good job. Yes, yeah, so our trick here is uh, the winch adds a twist to the line. So we take the twist out and just coil it. Kind of a, with a reverse twist 
with each each twist. Yes, yeah, so he's taking all those twists out. There you go. And then when we put the line, when we drop the sail, there's no more twist in the in the halyard. Luke's learning all my tips and tricks. I should be charging you for this. It'd be a long, uh, be a long uh, journey of many years to learn. <laughs> so you might be kind of—he's right now. We're calling him Seaman Third Class. I don't know. You might be coming up to second class status. Yeah. You're still that's, seaman though. That's the, that's the ambition though, to rise above fourth class. Only. Fourth is she fourth? She's second class. You need to take her job. The third job's just sitting there in the sun. I think. Well, that's, that's what, what second I'm... class does. The, the third <laughs> class does all the work. Look at me. I'm the captain. I'm doing nothing. Well, usually you're up the front drinking a beer. Then. Yeah, I should get a beer. Sand Hills Anchorage, Morton Island. Pretty incredible. We have to climb the sand dunes, guys. It's gonna be tough. Face plant. Remember, we have to bear this cross ashore. We were smart. We were not going to be fooled by the tides in Australia. We left our dinghy way out there, but it is way out there. So we've got like a 1K walk to the dinghy. But it could be worse. We could be dragging the dinghy back from right here. See that, see that sand? See those trees behind us? That's how far we've walked. Here at Archer Charters, we try to uh, cater to every client's needs. Some clients are nicer and better than others. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me and Alfred Maine is called the White Street because it's got the white streak on the toilet here. Oh, let's talk about that first. Let's go there that, first. That's the button to flush it. Okay, the head. We uh, call yeah. it the head in the in nautical term. Right you don't call it the right? What do you call it in the sailboat? Ford and Starboard. Ford and Starboard. Uh, a computer. A is computer. that the com oh, computer? Yep. Yeah. You're running. What kind of software are you running no, on there? For video games. Oh, oh, just video games. Yeah. Now the helm is protected. You get extra points for that. I like the protected yeah. helm. Where is it flagged? Is it flagged in Australia, America? What country? Australia, America. Australia, America. Australia, America. 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 Who's the president of Australia, America? Uh, us. These two giants, the two most handsome giants. Straight ahead, look at all those wrecks. We're not gonna go, we're not anywhere near it, right? We're gonna go right next to him. Tangaluma ended up being our favorite anchorage. What a beautiful spot to enjoy the bay. You look like you're, uh, you gonna let out your mainsail and pick one side. It's really kind of designed for kids. And what a day for it as well, you know? This is actually the first time. 
Absolutely. I can't see the reef man. Did you guys have a fun week? Yeah. All right, we gotta have these McConnell kids back to visit again, don't you think? Yeah. Ah, uh, it's the last day. It's pretty sad, the week is over. It has been so much fun having the McConnell family visit us, and we have been so lucky with the weather. Just bluebird, blue sky, no clouds, no rain. Perfect temperature, calm evenings. We've been super lucky with some of these anchorages and uh, it's been really fun. So we've had, it's been great, it's, you know, having our boys all hang out together and showing them our uh, cruising lifestyle. And I think we got a handshake that uh, Luke is gonna learn to sail and they're gonna buy a boat and cruise Queensland with their boys in about two years. So uh, that's a pretty monumental uh, impact, I think. So we're pretty excited that they're, they're liking what they're seeing, so. Uh, that sums it up. It's been a really good week. Okay, quick interview. How was the week? It's coming to a close. It's sad, but I don't know. You guys didn't have any fun, did you? Fabulous. Dream week. Dream week for the kids. That was good, wasn't it? And for the adults as well. Adults had fun too. What is not to like? Please let put it on as well. The whole lot. The whole package. Coming into Brisbane. A little bit of boat traffic. What do you think, boys? Isn't that cool? Awesome. Yeah. Imagine that hill. That would be a Let's not imagine serious that. problem. Yeah. Let's not imagine that. I can just imagine fire. Look at that mullet. It is a heck of a mullet. <laughs> It. They're getting their Uber to the airport, but uh, we'll see them again when we when we go by Melbourne on Archer. It's been a great week. See you later, alligator, and for all you Aussies out there, in a wild crocodile. Catch you next week in Brisbane.